Hey guys, so in today's video we're going to feature one of our frogs that we have here at the store. It's called the tomato frog. Now you can see why, just by looking at this little guy, why they are called the tomato frog. Their skin looks like that of a tomato. They can be uh, a nice bright red color. Uh, they can also kind of be of a kind of like a more of an orangish yellow color, uh, kind of like an unripened tomato. So these guys, they usually get about three to five inches long, and so it's not, it doesn't get extremely big like a pixie frog, but it's also not too small, so it's a pretty good size. So these guys, their natural habitat is um, Madagascar, actually, so it's pretty awesome. Now these guys are pretty easy to keep. For a baby, you just need about a 10 gallon tank. And for the, once they get bigger and get more of the adult size, that's when you'll have to go up to a 20 long tank, uh, which is a 30 by 12 by 12 tank here. Now, as far as housing multiple frogs together, these guys can be cannibalistic. So you just want to make sure that they're not like two different sizes, like big ch difference in size. Because if one's really big and one's really small, it might try to eat the other one. So if you keep two together, you'll want them to both be the same size. So as far as their bedding goes, they need something that holds humidity well since they need a pretty humid environment. So you can use cocoa fiber, peat moss, um, we have tropical mix here you can use. We also have uh, repti soil here that can also work for frogs really good. Now one cool thing about these guys is since they only need a temperature about 75 to 80 degrees, you can usually keep them at room temperature. So you don't really need a heat bulb at all. One thing you could do is if you want to be able to see the frog in the tank like during the daytime, you can get like a low output UVB bulb and that would light up the tank really well and it would also help if there was live plants in the tank. That way that they can grow really nice. So. Yep, that's one reason why you could get a light for them. Because these guys do need to soak in water and everything, you will need a, a large water bowl so that they can sit in it and soak whenever they want to. Um, or if you have a semi-aquatic tank with a land portion and a water portion, that's, that's good too. Just don't make the water too deep because these guys aren't big swimmers. So, And make sure whatever water you give them to soak in that you treat it with uh, dechlorinated, uh, dechlorinated tap water. Uh, the chlorine and stuff isn't good for their skin at all, so you just want to get some dechlorinator for your water. Now these guys have like the easiest care in the world. Basically every day you just gotta give them, clean out their water dish, give them fresh water, scoop up poop, and that's it basically, except on the days when you feed them. We feed them about two to three times a week. Uh, we don't feed them that much. Um, we usually give them like four crickets each every time we feed them, so. And the size of the cricket will vary from baby to adult, so. And you just make sure that you dust the cricket, dust the crickets or whatever bug you give them with calcium. Uh, that way they get that. And we also dust with vitamins once a week. So, so one thing about these guys and all frogs in general is that you don't want to handle them too much um, without anything covering your hands. When they come into contact with your hands, they also come into contact with everything on your hands, like oils, chemicals, all sorts of stuff and they absorb that into their skin and it can actually kill them. So you want to keep handling against bare skin to a minimum if you have to use gloves or just something to keep them away from all that. Yeah, these guys make pretty great pets. They're really colorful, really cool to watch, and we actually have a couple here at Tie-Dyed Iguana, so come on by and see them.